Hi guys, this is Jean from Happy Indulgence and I'm here to tell you about the YA Squad 2016 event. So I went to YA Squad on Friday night and it was held at the Brisbane Libraries by Penguin Teen Australia. We had four local Aussie authors and that's Will Kostakis who wrote the first third and his newest novel Sidekicks. Megan Jacobson who wrote her debut novel Yellow. Kylie Fornasia, who wrote The Things I Didn't Say. Her first novel is Masquerade, that she's published as well. There was also debut author Siobhan Plaza with Frankie. Now, I was really excited to attend this event because book events are the best. You pretty much get to fangirl, buy books, listen to bookish news, and it's just a really fun night. And it was also Felicity's last event as the Penguin Teen Australia marketing person, so it was good to see her there too. So the author started out talking about their books. So Yellow is about a girl from the wrong side of the tracks and a ghost comes and visits her and she'll grant her three wishes if the main character here can find out about the ghost's death. Megan Jacobson talked about what inspired her to write this novel. So she was holed up in her New York apartment reflecting upon her life and she actually won a high school writing competition. And at the competition, the other student that she met was Marcus Suzak, which wrote The Book Thief, as you all know. And so she wrote Yellow on that same day because she was inspired to write this story about kids from a housing commission. She knew these kids when they were young and they're, you know, beautiful, smart, talented, but because of their circumstances, they've never been able to get out of that and be successful in life. And she said Yellow's pretty much a wish for them, which was really beautiful. Will Kostak has talked about the sidekicks, which is about three guys whose best friend dies. And he's sort of like the central person who connects everyone together. So that you've got these three unlikely people who are dealing with loss. It's funny because Will said that in the first third, a lot of people complimented his writing style and said, hey, you sound pretty much like how you do on social media. Uh, so he wrote Sidekicks and he took a risk with using a sort of multiple point of views and different voices. Uh, I'm really excited about reading this one because of the diversity. There's a bit of a gay romance here too, which is really interesting. So Siobhan Plaza talked about her novel Frankie. It's about this really angry girl, but she's also intelligent and sassy. And she has a reason to be angry because of her circumstances. And Siobhan was inspired to write this as a previous teacher. And she worked as a welfare coordinator and she met these kids who would talk back and they would have sass and there'll be a perception about them. But as she got to know them, you know, they're intelligent, they're funny. And she sort of wanted to write about these youths that are misrepresented. And I thought uh, that was a really beautiful concept as well. So that's Frankie. This one I'm really looking forward to, which is The Things I Didn't Say by Kylie Fornasia. She said she was inspired by love stories like The Fold in Our Stars and Eleanor and Park, where there's a love story from a different angle. The girl here has selective mutism, which is a form of anxiety where she can't speak because of a trauma that she's experienced. And after researching selective mutism, she can see that it hasn't been represented accurately in literature. So she thought it was important to tell a story of this girl and to represent it accurately. I really like these sort of issue books that really raise awareness about an, a real life issue and it really opens your eyes to their experiences as well. So that's the things I didn't say. One of my favourite things about Aussie authors is how they can represent diversity in such a realistic and accurate way. So in Sidekicks you've got a gay character who kisses someone else. Bill talked about the same sex kiss and how that when he was 14 and 15 it was really important to be able to read literature or watch movies or films that represented that what those feelings were. 
and he does that well in sidekicks. Kylie talks about selective mutism and how it needs to be represented more accurately in literature and she says she was actually contacted by a girl who suffers from it and who thanked her for the novel and I thought that was really beautiful. Egan wanted to represent it's from the wrong side of the tracks but how you know there's bright spots in their life as well and it's just not all darkness and depressions. And Siobhan as well thought it was important to represent poverty and the the clash between poverty and high rises in the Collingwood area in Melbourne. These novels are more relatable to us in Australia because if we're not experiencing it ourselves we know people who have gone through it and that's really what it means to have Australian fiction that isn't set in the outback. Next discussion was advice for writers and Kylie said she wouldn't have gotten where she is today without joining her local writers centre and having the support of a writers group and you can sort of get feedback from one another from an unbiased party and that really helped her get published. Megan had an interesting story. She started out from a script writing background and she talked about how her way of writing a novel is locking herself away and just focusing on the novel because there's nothing else to do. Bill had a really interesting story which I'm not going to repeat again here but what I took from it was for his whole high school career he was really focused on getting published and getting a book deal and he would stop at nothing you know it took years to finally get his final publishing deal and that's what you really need to do you really need to keep at it. I also liked the discussion around negative reviews. I keep on asking you know is it okay to send a negative review? Are we ever going to get another review copy and what do authors think? And it was really interesting to hear it from the author's mouth. I said positive reviews are the best thing in the world because they reinforce what you do and he also said negative reviews are great for feedback and for you to think and reflect upon what was said uh, in order to improve upon. Everyone can't love every book and they were written for a reason so I thought that was really great feedback as a blogger that does do negative reviews if I honestly don't enjoy a book. After that the authors got together with some people from the audience to do a trivia quiz and it was just a lot of fun um, you know seeing them answer questions getting help from the audience and after hearing from the authors we got the chance to meet them for the author signings we got to buy books and get advanced copies. We also got the Penguin Teen Australia super proof as well it's just got extracts of or upcoming books. I'm really looking forward to the other side of summer. These books coming out as well. All in all it was a fantastic event as usual. If you ever get the chance to go to a book event I really recommend it. It's just a great time just being able to hear from your local authors, uh, being able to see publishers and other bloggers face to face and just you know fangirling, buying books and having lots of fun. And I think they're great events as well because you get to support your publishing, reading and writing community. And it's always interesting to hear from authors themselves. So there you have it. I had a great time at this event. Check out these books if you haven't already and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.